Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's Onshape step-by-step -step tutorial, we're gonna take a look at a tier one challenge found at TooTallToby.com. So we go to TooTallToby.com, we say, click here to get started, and we can see here we've got a library of over 150 2D to 3D challenges from a wide variety of difficulty levels. Well, if you're a brand new user to the world of 3D CAD, you'll be happy to see that we can show filters and we can filter to only show our tier one level challenges. These are challenges that can generally be completed with two to three features in the feature tree. Now, some of these challenges are free for all users. Some of these challenges are exclusive to our Practice Models Premium subscribers, but we are trying to create tutorials for every challenge that in here and so today we're going to do this one here the 240404 challenge and we're going to say click here to practice and we are going to say click here to begin and so now three two one go so the clock is running and we can see here that this model is or this challenge is what is the mass of this part in 0.xx pounds so this model is going to be utilizing pounds and it's going to be using inches ips is inch pound seconds the material is abs 1020 kilograms per cubic meter and it looks like as far as our strategy for this model this is a tier one model so i think what we're going to do is we're just going to create this sketch first here on the front plane a sketch like this we'll just kind of create all this geometry here on the front plane and then we'll extrude it mid plane to 0 0.75 and then we'll just finish up by adding in these fillets and that should take care of the model so let's get into it here in on shape i'm going to move this over to my second screen i'm going to choose to show my keyboard cam so you can see all the keyboard shortcuts i'm using and i'm going to create a new document here 24-04-04 space dash space cab handle and we're gonna create this as a public document. So if you ever are using Onshape or the free version of Onshape, you can look up this document number in the public space and you can see my parametric model. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to this hamburger menu and choose workspace units and change from millimeters to inches. So we wanna make sure that we're using the correct workspace unit and we wanna to remember to change that earlier rather than later. So we're gonna hit the green check mark here and now front plane S key, begin a sketch, N key to get normal to. And then we're gonna go S key, begin a line and we can create a line here that comes over. So single click, move your mouse, single click again, let go of your mouse. 2.5 enter we're going to move up here so single click in the background let go of your mouse one inch enter we're going to move over here in this direction i'm not sure how much we're going to move down in this direction we're going to move over in this direction single click whoops i went into an arc there by accident here we go single click let go of your mouse 3.5 and then we're going to move up in this direction this is going to go up 0 0.75 enter and then we are going to hit escape and we are going to create a arc or an arc here, three point arc. And that's gonna go up and over the top of the model over to here. You'll notice if you, if you put your mouse over that origin point or that end point, then move it straight up, you can get the vertical relationship. So that's a good shortcut. And then we will create this arc here. And when you single click in the background, you can let go of your mouse. You can type in 18 for the radius of that arc. And then we're going to S key line and single click this point, single click this point. And this is a really cool shortcut in on shape because the auto dimensioning happens after I've made both of those endpoints coincident. Even though it's currently shown at 3.9 inches, I can just type one enter and look at that on shape kind of brings it all down, brings it together. Now I know the sketch got a little twisted up there. So if I just hit escape and then start dragging these blue points around a little, you can see that I'm able to untangle that sketch and kind of get it back to where I need it. So now the final dimension we're gonna add here, S key dimension, that's gonna go from this line to this line or from this end point to this, this end point. And that distance is gonna be 10 inches. And there we see we've got a nice fully constrained sketch. And we could stop at this point and extrude it, but I think I'm gonna add in those radii 0.75. So here in sketch mode, I'm gonna click the sketch fillet command, sketch fillet, and then I'm gonna single click on this point here and this point here, and then I'm gonna single click in the background, and then I'm gonna let go of my mouse and type in 0.75. I'm gonna press enter, 
and enter and there we go that takes care of that fillet that takes care of that whole sketch the whole sketch is black there's no minus sign over here in the tree so that's all good indication that we've got a fully defined sketch so we're going to turn that into an extrusion so you can come up here and click extrude and then we're going to extrude that to 0 0.75 and we're going to press tab 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 and then we're going to press the space bar that takes us into symmetric for that extrusion and then we're going to press enter and now the final thing that we're going to add is going to be these fillets. So we're going to go here to S key fillet, or you can choose the fillet command from up here. Either way, it's the same command. And the radius there is going to be 0 0.1875. And that radius is going to be applied on this edge, on this edge, on this edge, and on this edge. And because of what's called tangent propagation, tangent propagation that means when we apply the fillet here on this edge it automatically goes to the next edge that's tangent to it and the next edge that's tangent to that edge so tangent propagation very handy in 3d cad very handy in on shape and so now we're going to click the green check mark and there we go that looks like a pretty much completed model what we can do here in the background is we can press p to hide the planes we can right click on the name of the part down here in the in the parts list and we can choose edit appearance we can change the appearance to kind of match what the customer is using on their print the customer always likes it when you match their color and then we can right click on that part again and we can say assign material and this material is going to come from the two tall toby on on shape materials library so from the two tall toby on shape materials library here abs and we're going to hit the green check mark and now we're going to click down here it's kind of behind the clock but down here we've got this button which is the button to launch the mass properties command in on shape so we click that mass properties command you click anywhere on the part and we are coming up with a mass of 0 0.26 pounds so i'm going to come over here into this box to enter my answer 0 0.26 and oh yeah we got it right yes indeed that's what we are hoping for so 0 0.26 pounds took me five minutes and 47 seconds i'm going to choose submit here and once i choose submit you can see that i can scroll down here and i can see here that 665 have completed this model and we can scroll down a little further here and we can see that if we click on the top 100 we are number 293 out of 665 so kind of right in the middle of the pack pretty good time there if we go to data and analytics here you can see that we can see right where we land here on the overall board it looks like the average time for this model is five minutes and 46 49 seconds and our time was five minutes and 47 seconds so we did finish it faster than the average time and that is always what we are hoping to do when we're doing these kinds of challenges and so i think i'm pretty satisfied with that of course if i wanted to i could come back i could try to speed run it and maybe end up on the speed modeling leaderboard but i think i'll save that challenge for another day i think for today i'm very happy with these results and i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have be sure to hit the like button on this video be sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see everyone in the next on shape step-by-step -step tutorial see you everybody